KP! KP in the house! You already know how to bounce! It's Disney Detonation coming at you from the Transfer of Content Fair U Studios in New Jersey, and I'm your host, and I'm back. I'm back with a KP vlog, as you can tell by the intro. It's March 2nd. It's rain. I think the rain's kind of slowed down. It was pouring before here in New Jersey. Yes, and I do miss the Florida weather, even though it rained for like three straight days while I was down there, which was very strange. Um, I did have a chance to go, so I... On the way to go to my sister's, who lives in Sanford, Florida, I, um, I st which is in the opposite direction, I stopped at a celebration and did sort of a quick walk through town and walk through um, the, the pool club area where Mr. KP uh, memorialized the bench. And most recently, I'm seeing that he memorialized, I think, a lamppost for his 200,000 subscribership in, uh, across from Baseline which is ridiculous. I mean, it's not your private playground to start memorializing objects in, in, in an amusement park. It, it just, to me, is ridiculous. And, 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 and the four people that were with him that took part in it, you're, you're as equally as ridiculous. All right, so I'm going to shrink myself. I am going to do something with that vlog where I walk through the, um, the pool area. So here we go. So this... Um, when I visited Disney Springs, I went, my daughter and I went into the Disney style store. And while I was there, I ran into this. I had to take a picture of it. I, I was shocked. I mean, this is, <clears throat> if I, this is what this, <laughs> all right, let me just read it, which you all can read. I mean, I can't adult today. Take me to the Disney parks. Now, if Disney is saying, is doing this, you know, like stating this to their guests, at, you know, what, what, pray tell, do they think of the vloggers who are making a living going to the parks? I can't adult today. I'm making a living as a Disney vlogger. I thought that was hilarious. I just, so I had to make it my background. All right, so I, my, I got a new vlogger that, that entered my algorithm the other day, and it's called Yank One in the Mouth. Now, I thought this was pretty hilarious. I don't know how they're getting away with it. I mean, they're more focused on Yankee in the South, um, which I'm not ever going to do a Yankee in the South uh, video because I think these two people are special needs and I, I don't think they have the mental capacity to understand what they're doing, but that's my opinion. Um, so one of the, well, the vlog that I got linked to is this, why do, pe why do, uh, why do we make fun of people? And I, <clears throat> I watched the vlogs 12 minutes long. I mean, and there's, I, I pretty much agree with 90% of what this person is saying, and I would recommend that, you know, you guys take a look at it. And if you're not a fan of Yankee of the South, you're going to love his channel, much like, um, much like the, uh, the Troll Patrol guy. And I've seen, he's already there commenting also. So the next, these next two clips, I thought were pretty um, telling as far as what goes, and I don't know why Caleb Palo Pilo does this. It's he's it's just exposing himself to being like a man baby putz. I don't know why you would. I guess he just doesn't care. <clears throat> but this next clip is his mother is um, make trying to make his bed because he doesn't have the proper um, linens, uh, straightening up his room, and he comes in recording his mom doing this, and uh, proceeds to tell her how Casey took pictures of him while he was his his first gaming experience in the home. Now if I. I can't imagine if I bought a new house, my mom was there uh, cleaning up, straightening up. I come walking in the room with a camera and start discussing gaming. I, I would imagine a pillow would, let, would be thrown at me and be like, are you going to help me? Are you going to do something? Put the camera down. But that's not what happened here. So let's go. Mommy makes my bed. You know, mom, wait, come here, come here, come here, come here. Before we come on in here. Oh, she's, it, you can't make it because I don't have a, a thing on it. It's presentable. Oh, it's not. Hey, real quick. Yes. Casey took a picture of me. Uh, she said she sent a picture and she said first gaming session. She didn't tell me she took a picture. Oh. But I gamed already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, here's the master. Okay, so the, and the next clip is even more, uh, you know, kind of telling, I guess. So since he's moved into this new house, he's had multiple people stay over. And I mean, I don't know about the rest of you. When you have guests to stay over, they sleep over, whatever. What do you? What's the first thing you do when they leave? You clean up after them. You you straighten up the room. You you do you clean the linens, but not Mr. KP. Here we go. Let's listen. He's it's something for uh, us to be proud of him 
performing daily living skills. So here we go. Kyle can brush his teeth is the name of this clip. Or clean up. <laughs> it's going to be my first time cleaning up a whole house full of guests. I'm so proud of you, Kyle. I'm so proud of you, Kyle. Thanks. <laughs> also, if you're wondering where Casey is, she's right here. Now, can you imagine? It's not like he's strapped for time where he has to get up tomorrow and be at work at a certain time. He's, he can leisurely clean the home. Or better yet, he can hire uh, a cleaning staff like he did to polish his, uh, his sink hardware which you're going to see later on. So this next clip is about his back, and he's got ankylosin spangli, uh, spangliitis. I can't, I can't probably pronounce it, but basically I, I know a little bit about this. It's, it's a form of arthritis. Now, he says he has a broken back, which you can get as a result of it. Um, but there are famous people that have this. Like, I don't know, Mick Mars had it from Motley Crue. Of course, he's he's decrepit because of all the alcohol and drugs on top of not taking care of it. But one of the things that you do to take care of it is you build your core strength, which he's obviously he's not doing. And then he's, this is, seems to come up with his vlogs on occasion. And I, you know, like it's a slippery slope with this kind of stuff because everyone's pain tolerance is different and, and things of that nature. But I, I mean, like, I don't understand why you would bring this to the, to your subscribers and complain to them about these problems when, it's I don't see how this is a good content. I mean, like I have I don't even I guess so I have cervical spinal stenosis in my it's like stenosis in the neck where the um, the holes where the nerves come out start to shrink and pinch the nerves. And I had it so bad at one point that I, I had to turn like this. I couldn't turn my head like this. And I went to the doctor and all they wanted to do was stick needles in my neck. But they did give me an opportunity to go to a physical therapy, which I did. I learned a bunch of exercises, and I incorporated a lot of the movements and the exercises at the gym. And now I can move my head relatively pain-free. If I don't go to the gym for a certain period of time, the pain starts to come back. So for him, I don't understand. If you are having these issues, and his parents seem to dote over him, why don't you go to a you know an osteo doctor get and get this looked at and taken care of properly? I mean, and then the the funny thing about it is he complains like this, and then he goes on the all these rides in the parks. Which if you see every ride that you just about every ride that you go on, it says if you're pregnant, if you have neck and back problems, do not go on this ride. So this next clip is called back bullshit. Here we go. So I'm a little bit concerned. I kind of want to take a little bit off on the pedal today and have more of an easy day. I kind of wanted to inform you guys on what's ultimately going on with me and my health. For some reason, I'm just in a ton of pain. And I know it's not the end of the world, but you know, it's my whole life I've been dealing with this and it's never really happened like how I'm experiencing it right now at the moment. So I'm a little scared, a little worried, but I just, my back aches. Even touching my lower back here, it's sore. It's definitely like a bone thing. It's even like when I get up too, when it's just it's just sore. So I ultimately don't really know what to do that's gonna help it. It's not going on rides. That's not gonna help it. I guess I am Tweedledum after all. You certainly are. So the next clip is called KP the Businessman. So this guy is lecturing us on, which he's done multiple times, on on how to be, uh, why is this over too far, how to be um, successful in life. And w one of the things that he said, he's been saying over and over again, is he started from nothing, which he didn't. He had 30,000 subscribers or 2,000 camera when he went, a $2,000 camera when he went full time. And it turns out that he's now had over $20,000 in the bank. Now, I don't, I think he graduated college in 2019. I'm not even sure, but I, I don't know about the rest of you. I had to put myself through college. So when I finished college, I didn't, not only did I not have $20,000 in the bank, I owed $40,000 in student loans. Now, I did have some friends who were either really well off who everything was paid for, they never had to worry about a thing, and they had money in the bank when they got out, or they busted their asses through through college, multiple jobs, you know, and had money, I don't know how much money they had in the bank, but they had enough to where they didn't have student loans, and they, you know, got further quickly in life than I did. But 
when you look at this guy and you and you look at some of the past vlogs that he's done, he is not that guy. So I just all right. So here it is. It's called KP the businessman. Do the idea. Do it. It's scary. Like I know I wanted to. Um, I never. I don't think I've ever told this, but in. Uh, I think it was at the end of my college program in 2019. That's when I actually first wanted to dip in full-time YouTube. I should have done it, but I didn't really have much of a safety net saved up. It's crazy to me that like even, heck from 2019 when I, I literally had, my goodness, probably $20,000 to my name. Well, probably a little more than that. Actually, I didn't really have a safety net saved up at the end of 2020, meaning like, did I have five months to keep me afloat with expenses? I really didn't. Probably $20,000 to my name. Well, probably a little more than that. I just kind of soared on into it, but my parents were kind of worried because, you know, um, I think I was getting less than a thousand views on YouTube, but I knew I could do it. I really did. What a Unbelievable. 30,000 subscribers, a, a new camera, $20,000 in the bank, but he started with nothing. I mean, give me a break. All right, so the next clip is called, I Need to Be Out of My Place. Now, I thought this was pretty crazy because he, and it, it appears, I don't know for sure, that he, um, so he went on a cruise prior to moving into this house. So, and then he comes back and he has like a mental breakdown because the, the movers aren't coming in on time the cleaning person that he hired hasn't polished his uh his faucets uh yet and he just have he just totally has a mental breakdown now, the thing that really um is perplexing to me is that um he, in the prior videos he's call, claiming he's oh you don't need a backup plan you know it's it's it breeds ne uh, negativity and failure meanwhile he's almost having a mental breakdown that he has no backup plan and the odd thing is, like, he's got a one-bedroom apartment. He's got a, a a night, a, a TV stand, a bed, and a couch. Like, there's a, I'll get into it later, but, like, all you need is a couple of friends, and you could even rent, like, a, a pickup truck at Home Depot and just throw everything in the back and... But maybe his, you know, because of his back problems. But anyway, so here we go. Uh, need to be out of my place. It's starting to rain out, too, by the way. Today is just turning into be a big pile of... Today, I need to be out of my apartment, no exceptions. Like, I need to be out today. I need to be out by today because my lease ends, everything ends. In the simplest terms, I am very stressed right now. I'm trying to keep it together. Let's go, we're on the gangway. We're wow. going to step on. We're going to step on. Oh my <laughs> gosh, let's go. There's no other feeling better than this feeling right now. Oh, the best the day. day. <sighs> Hello. Hi. We can just grab, right? Yeah. This is our drink package right here. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Now we have to cheers. These are free. You can technically get as much as you want. Always have a plan in case plan number one doesn't succeed. I don't do backup plans because I don't I don't believe in that. I don't believe in backup plans just because I really feel like you're setting yourself a failure in that mindset. But anyways. Wow. Did not foresee this this happening. Hopefully they have backup drivers. If not, I don't know if I have to move everything myself, which is pretty much not possible because I've got a lot of heavy things and I don't really like to lift heavy things because of my back. I don't really like to lift heavy things. You have three heavy things. Because of my back. I don't know, like, it, ooh, I'm stressed. Like, I'm, 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 I'm stressed. I have a feeling they're gonna call back and say, unfortunately, like, you know, we're not gonna be able to move you today. Like for it to actually happen to you is another thing. Because what if I... Oh, oh my gosh. Relax, come. Relax. 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 I love my life. Yeah, one of the things that I, I left out of that clip is like, he's like, I understand there's pro, you know, things occur. This, he goes, but it's different when it happens to you. It, it, I mean, the arrogance in this kid, this man, is, is, out, is outrageous. So, I mean, like, I get it. Maybe, you know, his, he, his back is so fucked up, he can't move everything but from my understanding half the stuff was packed by college hunks the first time sitting in his garage he couldn't get a couple of friends 
to get what you see next a riot these so I don't know what happened with this with this moving company but and it also seemed like he's on the verge of like just he I, this is just my opinion like he's going to start dropping the names of these businesses and he's going to stick it to them cuz he is Kylo Palo 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 and he has 2000 uh 200,000 subscribers so you better watch out you better show up and they did talk about a nightmare moving moving day I guess this is like a welcome of being a homeowner, I guess, but I've never had mover, movers. It's, it's, things happen. It, it, it has nothing to do with being a new homeowner. Quite literally, not show up in a way. Um, in a way. Um, in a way. Um, yeah. I think there's some enemies in the atmosphere. All right, got the movers here. They're cool. They're chill. I mean, from almost getting canceled to finally moving, I'm a happy. And they're chill. They're nice. All my sons, thank you. Thanks for uh, finding a solution to almost a nightmare, nightmare day. I don't do backup plans because I don't. I don't believe in that. Uh, I hate this. I mean, it's an only a nightmare day because you had no backup plan and you left it to the last second because you went on that cruise. I mean, like if you had taken care of this, oh, whatever. Okay, so the next clip is called uh, "Housekeeper." I mean, cleaner blues. So he, this is another breakdown he has where he, he hires a cleaning service that I guess didn't initially show up. I actually had cleaners come through my house the day before, and now this is like the first time seeing it cleaned. And well, let me show you some things that, uh, <laughs> this is not getting started on the right foot. I'm not going to say the company because I still have to call them to like be like, hey, can you get other people out here? Yeah, he's not going to say the company until he feels that they've wronged him. And then he's going to say something because he is Mr. KP and he's going to he's going to straighten you out with his his minions. This is not clean or I want a refund, but I'd rather just have someone come actually do what they're supposed to do. I, I, I got like this mega service. It's hard to see it on camera, but like you're, these are supposed to be waxed. They're not. It's More examples here of this not being clean. Like, look at that. That is not cleaned and clearly not waxed. So this is kind of my first experience of being a homeowner. I, I, I did my part. The cleaning people not showing up is not indicative of your first experience in being a homeowner. Actually, it just Pots. fell out of our, our shoes. It just fell out of our, our shoes. It just fell out of our our shoes. It just has. Uh, what an imbecile! Uh, I'm so stressed. And whew, this is a grown man. News. That is good news. Um, wow. I guess welcome to a house, Kyle. Holy cow! This has been a mess. Ah. Oh. He has to bend over in anguish because the housekeeper, the cleaning service he hired, is coming, and and the movers finally. Did we hire them to do? I mean, come on, man. All right, so the next clip is um, I don't need friends to move. Now, this was very strange to me because, like I said prior, they don't they didn't have much to move, and most of his stuff was packed previously. So, I mean, I kind of get if he's got this serious back problem that he, he asks his friends to help him move, and he's like, listen, I, I can't help you because I got my back's all screwed up. I get that. But to say that it's um, just to, to piss away money on this, with when it's not like he's moving a full house. I mean, you've seen his apartment. It, 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 he didn't even have furniture in the bedroom. Okay, so here we go. Don't need fine friends to move. Also, the reason why we got movers is because A, it's easier on us. B, it's easier on us. And C, it's easier on us. And that's why they had movers. I have also, you know, with your... My back? Yeah, with your back, it's... Yeah. And I do have a broken back. I don't really like to lift heavy things because of my back and I have ankylosing spondylitis, so I do have to be careful what I what I do. Woo! I do have a broken back. And I'm not the strongest person in the world. <laughs> and we could get friends to help us, but I don't like inconvenience from anybody at all. I have a all. lot of people, including my brother-in-law, my sister, my co-workers, everybody offered, but we just wanted to what make a smug it tool. Easy. easy on everybody. And honestly, like after you moved with them, I was like, I want them to come back and help me. Move. They were so chill. 
I want them to come back and help me. So you you, you, had, you couldn't ask your friends to help you move, but you had no problem having your parents clean your house, put all kinds of uh, new hardware in in the in the kitchen cabinetry and drawers, and show for them around. You didn't even like this guy didn't even know what a doorstop was for. And I mean, it's amazing what a what a man child this this guy is. Also, there was another thing where he had a scratch on the floor, and he had a vinyl like one of those. It appeared to be one of those fake vinyl um, wood floors. And he's like, I have an extra tile. And it's like those floors, those floors are like f- floating. For you to start putting new tiles in there, you have to pull the baseboard up or the, the, the shoe, which he called crown molding. I forgot about that. I mean, it's just it's just one thing after another. He's, he's clueless, truly clueless. Okay, so the next clip is shut up, mom and dad. I'm a financial genius. Now, his he starts talking about his mortgage and things like that. And so I did a, and he, a lot of what this guy s- says or does. It just doesn't add up as far as I'm concerned. So the things that and this is why your parents are telling you not to have discussions on this because of this with what I'm showing right now. So he from my understanding, the house was like 700,000, 750. And I, I saw this through comments. Um, somebody said he put 140,000, which is 20 percent down. So I put everything in and the mortgage at 7% and I don't know what what APR, what, what percentage she got. So the whole thing came up to like, you know, uh, 3700 So that's without taxes and homeowners. So conservatively, $4,000 a month. Now, this he said he went full time as a vlogger in 2019, I guess, or 2020. How, I mean, the, YouTube must be so much more lucrative than I have any idea about. Because for him to save one hundred and forty thousand dollars in in that three year span, with all the traveling and all that stuff he's done, I mean, maybe he is a financial genius. I I don't know, but you know, you're talking. He needs at least forty eight thousand to clear just for the house. That's without any expenses, without eating, without anything else. So um, kudos to you, Mr. Kalo Palo Pilo. You you must be a financial genius. But considering the things that I've seen and heard from you, it's kind of a difficult uh, idea to, to, to swallow or comprehend. So here it is. Shut up, mom and dad. I'm a financial genius. Mortgage payment is due. Have my investment strategy and how I'm going to beat the interest rate and stuff. I had no idea you had 15 days past the due date, which I think is kind of crazy. But I'm here for it. But I'm here for it. Hey, hey. Because when you sign a house, because when you sign a house, your first month is already like in your fees that you pay. A really nice strategy on how I'm gonna be doing things. There's a strategy, and there's execution, and then there's the goal. I thought about double paying the mortgage, but I feel like we're gonna invest the money. I don't know how my family feels about it, but I I feel like my my parents or like some people will say, you know, it's not really other people's concerns and stuff, which to an extent, you know, they're right. It's just like, who cares? Like, you know, if someone wants to talk about it, let let them talk about it. I love talking investments. I love talking my plans. It's just um, something I have a passion for and, and love talking about, honestly. Because we all have mortgages. We all have mortgages. But knowledge is power. Knowledge is power, especially when it comes to finances and stuff. Like a lot of you homeowners from 2020, 2021 who have like what, a 2 to 3% interest rate, obviously everybody's jealous about you. America's very, very divided when it comes to, you know, home purchases and mortgages. I mean, in conclusion, housing prices in America are crazy. I think that is going to conclude our coffee talks. <laughs> with Kyle. But now I'm just kind of like thinking it from a critical analysis standpoint and just wondering what's going on with the big picture. It seems like their focus is elsewhere besides on the Disney parks, probably from the Disney standpoint from their business in general. No idea, but leave your guys' thoughts down below. This is an open discussion. Leave your guys' thoughts. What, what a boob. I mean, like, we all have mortgages in this country, except for those that don't. And I'm, I mean, like, he's jealous that some people got a 2.5, uh, you know, APR per- percentage for their mortgage. I mean, well, let's get a time machine, ride back to, the, like, 1950 and get a house for $15,000. I mean, it's like, it's just ridiculous. Okay, so the, the next clip is going to be the weekly mix. And I think I might be doing this more and more just as a standalone thing because, uh, I mean, like going through all his videos sometimes is just way too uh, uh, tedious, and it'd be quicker for me to come out with um, these mixes. But I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, I do still have those two other um, 
vlogs that I wanted to do uh, from my trip, but we'll see what happens. So here we go. This is the last clip of the day. It's called The Weekly Mix. Here we go, come on. You are now entering the Powerverse. Guess what, Brand, guess what Brandon is? Lululemon? Lululemon? Who cares? It just fell out of our our shoes. Dang. Yeah, I gotta support. <laughs> yeah, I gotta support. We'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna go break in the house and um, take a shower. Oh, one of the first thing I set up, I set up my gaming system. Woohoohoo, it's all ready to go. Oh boy. I'm really a workaholic. It's all about beating the interest rate, you know? Can you beat the interest rate that you've gotten per year? I think I can. Hero of the stupid. Now I'm thinking about getting a house cleaner every two weeks. We are making power moves. Decompress, probably get like a mimosa or something just to chill the nerves or chill the stress. Chill the stress. Douche. Yeah. We do because. Kind of like one of, the, but I was like, this is the mirror I grew up with, the kind, the yeah. style. Yeah. But it's like you know when you go staying at Contemporary, the Polynesian Grand Floridian, you're like, ah, oh, I want a cool one, you know. And it's me, Casey's first time staying at this section, at this section of the resort. Who gives a shit? Who gives a fuck? Cool. And when I first literally uh, went full time on YouTube, I had nothing. I literally had nothing. I literally had, my goodness. Probably twenty thousand dollars to my name. Well, probably a little more than. And hopefully they, this gets resolved, and someone I don't know comes to work. I don't know comes to work. You usually have no room in this store. It's very enjoyable when there's like nobody here. It's very enjoyable when there's like nobody here. I mean, it's still enjoyable, but like you know, actually enjoyable. My thongs are hurting, guys. Never really wear thongs. But I haven't seen these shorts on you. <laughs> it's hurting my toesies. Don't be a putz. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's hurting my toesies. <laughs> it's hurting my toesies. It is moving day, moving day, moving day. In Florida. Coco K, Coco K, perfect day. For me, for me. Ridiculous, Mo, and transmission.